We can also assign materials to each of these forms, either as a fixed material or as a parametric material that can be changed by setting the component's type or instant properties. Select the tabletop form. In the properties palette, you can see that this form is set to use the materials defined by category. So by default, this form will use the material assigned to the furniture category in the project. Click the material value, then click the small button to open the materials dialog. You can choose one of the existing materials in the list or duplicate a material to create a new one. Let's duplicate the default material and create a new material called console table wood. Now let's give this a brown shading. Close the material dialog and you'll see that the material is assigned to the tabletop form. Now let's select the pedestal form and we can assign this same material to it. As a final step, let's add parameters to material settings for each form, so users of our component can easily change the materials in their project. Select the tabletop form again and click the small button to the right of the materials value in the properties palette. This button opens the associate family parameter dialog, where we can add a parameter that will let users change this value. Click the add parameter button, then create a new parameter called table frame. Let's make this an instant property, so the value can be set independently for every instant of this component. This will be a parameter of type material, and we'll group it under the materials and finishes section in the properties. Let's set up a similar parameter for the pedestal. Select the pedestal form, and click the small button to the right of the material setting. Add a new parameter called pedestal and set this to be an instant parameter of the type of material and group it under the materials and finishes section. Now let's save our work so we can load this into a separate project. Let's open a project to load our new component into. Now open the Place Component tool and then select Load Family. In the library, find the family that we just made. Now place an instance of our table into the model. In the type selector, we can also choose a different type and place that as well. Once placed, we can also select an instance and change its type within the model. Next, we can select an instance and edit its type in order to create a new type with different dimensions. Duplicate the existing type, give it a new descriptive name, and change the dimensions. When finished, select OK. We can also share our Revit family file with others. Anyone can use the Load Family tool to load the component family into a project then create new types as needed and adjust the type properties to set the dimensions for each type. They can also set the materials for each of the forms, the tabletop and the pedestal, as instant properties for each instance placed in the project.